Okay, what we're going to do now is take another look at combine, but this time I'm going to actually incorporate some text. I'm going to start with a primitive, and I'll just go with a basic box primitive. So I'll click that, I'll make it, I don't know, 50, tab 50, tab 50, so it's a decent size. Enter, so it's just pretty much a standard old box. And then I'm going to go over to this tool, which we haven't looked at, and that's the text tool text tool, basically the way that works, um, it's a wee bit strange to start with, is first of all click on the grid to activate it. So then specify the text position, so click again. So this is a bit of a weird thing about uh, the way it works. I'll tilt that around so it's going the right way like that. And now I use this dialog box here and I'll just type in my name here. So there we go, so I've got my name in there. Choose a font, but be very careful about the type of font that you use. Make sure it's a simple font, otherwise it'll just about crash the program. So I'll go for Arial Bold, that looks quite good. And that'll do for now, so I'll go OK. There it is there, that's just kind of like a sketch at the moment. And I can get that sketch, click on it, get the pill. OK, so click off it, click on it to get the pill, the drop down menu and I'm going to extrude that text up. So I'll extrude that. Once it's extruded, they become separate entities. So I've extruded it's 10 millimeters there, and I'm just going to go Enter to get that done. Now, each of these is individual. Okay, if you want to move them as one component, you need to select them together, and you can do that by uh, left-clicking across all of them like that, and that highlights them all, and I'm going to group them. Now grouping something allows it to become part of the same group. So if I click that, Control G is the shortcut, that is now grouped. So if I click off and back on, it selects as one piece. Then I'm going to go Control T, and I'll pop that over here like that, and I'll rotate it like this. I'll go 90 degrees there and move it out. So I'll do a couple of things with this. I'll move it across here. You can see it's kind of inside the box there like that. Right, that looks quite good at the moment. I'll just pop it up there. Excellent. Right, so I've got that bit done. And now, if I zoom in on this, I can get a little bit closer and be a bit more careful with the positioning of it. There we go. And you can do a couple of things with this. You can add it to the object or you can subtract it. So we'll do the first one as an add. Okay. In fact, what I should do is select that, copy it. So that's Control C, Control V. And that will give me a second one. And I'll put that one down here. And I'll go enter to that. And I'll scale that one up slightly, so that's S on the keyboard, and I'll just scale that up. Okay, and Enter to activate that, Control T to get it in the right position. There we go. Right, we can do away with this now, so I'll click that, hit Delete on the keyboard for that one. That's gone. So we've got two things here, we've got that one and this one. First of all, we're going to go to the Combine Tools. So I'll get across here. So we've looked at the Combine Tools before, and the first one we're going to do is uh, Merge. So I'll click Merge on this. Target the solid mesh, we want to keep the cube. So I'll keep the cube. The source mesh is all these letters. So I'll select each of these letters. And I'm not holding down Shift or anything, it's just allowing me to do this. And then I'll hit Enter. And that's done. It doesn't look like much has happened, but if I click on this, it's all one object. Okay, second one I'm going to do, same deal, up in here, combine, subtract. Once again, I'll target the solid mesh, and I'll target the source mesh as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's done that bit, and I'll press enter, and look at that, it's chopped a hole in it. So that's combining some text in there. So this would be a great way to make stamps or um, chopping things inside of other things. So yeah, you can use text and it can look pretty neat.